CData Arc is a B2B integration platform with newly revamped monitoring and tracking tools to ensure that you have full visibility into the health and status of your B2B transactions. In this video, we'll take a look at the new Arc 2023 dashboard, including the metrics, message trends, and advanced message tracking that empowers your admins and users to easily understand your Arc data flow. When you log into Arc, the first thing you'll see is this dashboard page with the key metrics at the top. These are designed for you to quickly get a zoomed out impression of how ARC is performing. Here are the default metrics so that you can understand how active ARC has been with the total messages and bytes processed, as well as how many errors ARC has encountered. Notice that ARC also contextualizes these values over a seven day period so that you can better understand what they mean. But these metrics are also fully customizable. Let's hit this edit button in the top. Here I can change the length of time for this metric comparison in case I want to compare these values from a day ago or a month ago. And I can add or remove metrics according to the metric menu found in this second edit button. So here we can see all of the metrics available to choose from. Let's say I want to split out my send and receive errors to better understand where the problems might occur in ARC. And then I also want to see the average processing time to make sure that the performance is up to my expectations. I can save these changes and immediately see these values displayed here in the metrics section. As you can see, you can determine the most useful set of metrics for your own organization and display them here at the top. The next section of the dashboard displays message trends. This is one step zoomed in from the metrics, where we can see success and error volume per day, and then track success percentage by workspace or connector ID. So if we see something concerning in our overall metrics, we can quickly locate the source of this problem by checking which connectors and workspaces are experiencing issues. Finally, the Messages section allows us to track specific messages through the ARC flow. We can see at a glance the timestamp, the source and destination connectors, the current file name, and the success status for each message. Of course, this panel is just a snippet of the messages processed by ARC, and we can bring up the full page by hitting the See All button. From this view, it's often helpful to search or filter according to other information that you might have gathered from the dashboard. For instance, let's say I saw a concerningly high error percentage when exchanging documents with a particular partner. For the sake of this example, call them my partner. I can search this term and see only the messages associated with this partner's connectors. From here, I can see directly which messages caused an error, which arc flow they're a part of, and when the problem happened. To dig further, I can expand this message entry with the plus sign on the left and see the error message associated with the problem. If I want more details, I can hit the Logs tab to view any log files associated with the transaction and then open them up in the UI here. So hopefully this gives a sense of how ARC's dashboard simplifies the process of monitoring ARC. The metrics and message trends provides an overall picture of the health and status of ARC and indicate if there are any problems to investigate. From there, the Messages page allows you to dig right into the errors and logs for problem cases. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find more resources at arc.cdata.com.